Amanda Knox, new pictures and details about her life here in the U.S. right now. Of course, you'll remember she was the American college student studying in Italy who was convicted and then acquitted of her roommate's murder. And now her case, if not her, is back in an Italian court. ABC's John Muller here with the very latest. Good morning to you, John. Good morning, Josh. Amanda Knox is not in Italy this morning. She's here in America getting ready for the release of her memoir. But the final chapter of this sensational legal drama is not quite written yet. Now Italy's highest court will decide if it was right to set her free. My family is the most important thing to me right now, and I just want to go and be with them. Amanda Knox is enjoying her freedom, but her Italian legal drama is not quite over. On Monday, during a Supreme Court hearing in Rome, the final step in Knox's legal process, she will learn if Italy's highest court agrees with the decision to free her. The prosecution appealed Knox and Solecito's acquittal in a 100-page report, questioning apparent contradictions in the ruling. The worst hearing outcome for Knox would be a retrial and another agonizing wait for it to all end. Knox's defense has appealed her slander conviction, a result of her falsely accusing her former boss, Patrick Lumumba, as her roommate's killer. In my confusion... In 2009, Knox testified that she suggested Lumumba after she was hit in the head, yelled at and confused during nearly 50 hours of interrogation. We believe what Amanda has told us, because she is extremely honest. Knox has already served the three-year sentence for slander during her four years in prison. In Seattle, Knox is back in class at the University of Washington. She spends free time with her boyfriend, James Toronto, her three sisters, or playing the guitar. Knox dedicated this past year to writing her upcoming memoir, Waiting to be Heard. Now, besides the worst case scenario of this hearing, which could mean retrial, there is a best case scenario, which she would remain officially remain free and have that slander conviction overturned. And if that were to happen, she could actually seek compensation for false imprisonment. So a lot at stake here, Josh. Yeah, so much to get to. Thank you for that, John. And of course, Amanda Knox will speak for the first time in an ABC News primetime special with Diane Sawyer on April 30th. That will air at 10 p.m. Eastern.